Hey guys, RC here, back with some Starters Order 7. This is episode 2, last episode. We backed a winner in Frankel, and we're sitting on $8 million thanks to him. Should have bet it all, but, you know, I was clicking a button a lot. Um, for, yeah, for whatever reason, he goes off at 66 to 1 sometimes in that first race he does. And uh, not, a, not that it's a guarantee. I've seen him lose, but maybe only once or twice um usually he wins but uh we are back tell you what let's jump into our no i have some money now we could go in and buy all the stuff for the barn right now i'm not going to do that i'm going to use all this money betting and buying horses if we look at our breeding barn uh my breeding mares oh how do we already have yearlings? Oh, those are the yearlings we bought last episode. I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> the immaculate conception of six freaking horses just appeared. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking about Frankel and Secretariat and completely slipped my mind. We did go to an auction, in fact. All right. So let's see. We have tomorrow, today, Secretariat is running. Yay. Secretariat is the favorite in the colonial turf. Instead of the Preakness or anything else. All right. Going off at four to five odds. The tipsters, four out of five tipsters recommend you gamble today. All right. We're going to go max win. And we're going to put a bunch down, seven, about $7 million or so. Please win. Oh, my God, it's raining. That's like the last thing you would want to see, right? All right, Secretary was in the middle of the pack. The number eight horse, currently running third. All right, let's speed them up, get them around. Secretariat falling to the middle of the field. Don't like to see that. He does have a lane. Plenty of room to run if he wants to. I don't know. Oh, he gets pinched by, who is that? Auction House. All right, there's a run starting. We're coming up at two and a half furlongs to go. Or two and a half miles to go. Two furlongs. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Furlongs, miles. Secretariat's in second. A length back. A furlong left to go. He's neck and neck at the furlong pole. Pulling away. We do have Auction House making a charge into second past Storm Belt. But Secretariat raises the hand and wins going away. Well, not really going away, but he won comfortably. That's good. Very good. So we bet seven million and we won two and a half, almost two and a half million. So that's good. We're up over 10. Let's go ahead and get out of the race. We'll skip the, the 36 rated mayor. We'll pass. We'll quit the auction. We will save and we're sitting on $10 million. All right. Now, the yearling auction is coming up here today, 29th. Yearlings, there's a handful. Now we've got money to play. So now instead of looking at the cheap ones, we're basically looking at anything 2.4 and higher. I could go for the 2.2, 2.38's close enough, but we're gonna we're gonna say that 2.4. So the 2.2. I'm going to pass on that one. Maybe that's crazy. Maybe that's crazy town talk. But you know what? We're going to do that. All right. And I'm going to try my little double bet. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll double bet. I don't know if it helps any. But it jumps it up fast enough that I think maybe it gets some of those guys out 
quickly and just you know gets us gets us you know from point a to point b so we're dropping about a half a million per horse and hopefully we can sell these for somewhere in the two million range This one has a 387 reserve. I'm going to go ahead and you got to pay attention to get you up to the reserve. That's a little crazy. It was like nobody was going to bet. <laughs> right? Or did I bet on the wrong freaking horse? I think I just bought a $76,000 horse. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I just make another $3 million mistake? This one could be like an $8 million mistake by the time all the... Oh, God, I can't believe I did that. What's the name of that horse? Carlton House and Rattic Man. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little ill. If this was real money, I'd probably be curled up in the corner just like puking my guts out. All right, this one's 250. Ooh, we might get this one for just 318. Very nice. And 238. Oh, I missed one. Son of a biscuit. Can I click on it? No. Damn. Damn. And that's a good one too. Stays all night. Oh well. Ah, well. All right. So I think that'll be it. Reserve not met. See, I would have bet on that one, but oh well. There we go. Just tell me I bit, I bit, oh. I don't remember the name of the horse now. I forgot. All right. Where are we at? Let's check our breeding barn. We have 13 yearlings now. Good. Still have $7 million. Better. And when is our next yearling sale is the end of August all right nobody signed up yet so we're gonna go ahead and put a break here I will come right back uh, will we either race news or the next auction all right secretariat has announced for another race so he's registered in two races now so we have uh, the yearlings coming up on the 28th of August. Uh, we have Secretariat running here tomorrow in the Haskell Invitational and then the Woodward in September. So we'll see if he makes both of those. Looks like he's running well. So I feel a little more comfortable this save than I have in past. Uh, just, you know, just saying. All right, and that should be secretary is running today. So we'll bounce, go to the course. And we're looking for, there we are, the Haskell Invitational. That's so funny. A horse is named JustBookie.com. Nice. All right, secretary, four to five. The tipsters are heavy on him. All right, we're just going to make eight bets. They're hefty. They are hefty. All right, looks like he's closer to the outside here. Second from the outside, closest to us. The number eight horse noses out to the lead. We know he doesn't like to run as a leader. He's more of a stalker than he likes to make a push late. So eight furlongs left. That's a mile. So we'll let them get up to speed. He's running mid-pack right now. In the second group of horses. He noses up into third position. Makes a charge into second. Now he's stalking the leader. And there we are at the two furlong pole. Secretary moves into the front. Go Amwell is making a charge as well in second. Looks like it'll be those two with a furlong to go. 
Anybody else going to make a late run? Can Secretary hold on? Four tenths of a furlong left. Hand goes up. And Secretary waltzes in. Go Amwell second. And very happy about that result. So we put down, uh, what's that? 13, 1.36. And we won 654,000. Not a great return, but hey, every little bit helps, right? Every little bit helps. We've got a 49 rated Colt. We're going to pass on that. And we are going to save. All right, so let's figure out where we're at. All right, yearling sales is on August 28th. And then Secretariat is going September 4th. All right, so let's get to the 28th here. And it's so nice just to be able to speed click. I really hope with the start it mod they can get that optimized to where that helps a lot. All right, there's our yearling sale. Looks like we've got a good group. So let's see, 2-1, two, 2-4, one, two, 2-5, four, two, four, two, 3-8. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and bid on these 216s and 220s. I'm going to pass on the 150s. All right. Let's get to the auction. See if we can't buy us some more horses. So, figure we're paying around 300,000 a piece. So we're going to get three horses per million, if we're lucky. Might only be two when we're going over a half a million, but that was a more expensive horse. Who is this? This is Crystal Gal. Yeah, I do want to bid on this one. So I got to get it up to 245 for the reserve. All right. Sorry about that. I had to mute the microphone. We... Uh, my wife's been out of town for almost two weeks. Went to visit her mom. <coughs> you know, now that they could uh, finally, you know, go out and travel. So she went up there for Mother's Day and everything. So uh, so she's coming back today. So I haven't seen her in a little while. So I'm excited about that. And we're having pretty horrible weather through the region today. It's supposed to rain like all night. Uh, looks like it's cleared up right now, but which is going to piss my son off because I told him we couldn't go practice driving. <laughs> so he'll be unhappy that it quit raining and I didn't take him driving. But the roads were still slick and, you know, he doesn't have his license yet. So I want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's as safe as it can be. All right, so we pick up eight horses here. Well, that's good. And let's go into our breeding barn. So that puts us up to 21 yearlings. So we're going to have a lot to sell for next year. We have a Japanese uh, sire in this group. A 113 rating. Won the Champions Cup. Nice. All right. So we may have, let's see what he looks like. Monty Mayor Lady. Hey. Eh, nothing special nothing special all right well we'll check these guys out a little closer to the end of the year because again i have heard that if you check them now as yearlings you'll get a better indicator because evidently at two years old their ratings drop and then they go back up at three and four so you know that you get a little bit better indicator here but We'll see. We'll go through it. Let's see who we are dealing with now. I think September 4th, so that's coming up in a week. And then we have one more yearling sale this year on the 27th of October. We should be able to get that done this episode, I would think. What day was it? September what? I don't remember. And I should get an email, but... You know, nothing is set in stone here. There it is. 
All right, secretary is running today. All right, so we will go to the track. We will go find a secretariat's race going off at evens. One to one. Seven to basically seven to one on, on auction house. Tipsters, three out of five on secretary. The other two are abstaining from the vote. All right, let's put uh Let's not go full in, but we'll put uh, we'll put a little bit, about four million on them. I think that was about four million. All right, secretary is on the rail. Blue hat off to the front with the challenge of number two auction house, and serious superstar is running with him. So let's get them down to near the two furlong pole. Secretary is out running with Sirius Superstar. They have a definitive separation, two or three lengths there between the rest of the pack, including group leader who's leading the second group. Looks like Auction House making a run, trying to make up ground. And at the two furlong pole, it's Secretary and Sirius Superstar head to head. And Secretary starts to pull away. Coming into the furlong pole, he has opened up a length and a half and is starting to pull away. And it looks like he's going to run in pretty easy. Jockey took a look back. There goes the hand. And we win another one with Secretary. Thank goodness, but you know, be careful with him. He is not a, a sure thing. He does not win 100% of the time. So we bet $4 million. And we won 1.7, so not quite a 50 cent on the dollar return. But, you know, it's still a nice return. Puts us up to $6 million. Uh, don't want to deal with that. Let's go ahead and save. And then we said there's a breeder sale, a yearling sale on the 27th of October. So let's move towards that. And I will come back either with more Secretariat news. He may one, run one more race this year, uh, or we'll be back for that auction. All right, we just got an email. Secretary has declared for, is that the, what was it called? The, oh, the Canadian International in Toronto. That'll be run on October 22nd. And then we do have the yearling sales on the 27th a week later so let's work our way up there to the 22nd of October so secretary should be running today that's good and go to the track and it's the only race I guess but it's the first race for sure one to three and Zambezi's going off at 25 to one Holy snot bubbles. How are all five not on him? Okay, I want to do something because there's so many long shots here. Third, third, couple of wins. Are these are these maiden races or they just haven't run this year? Ice Warrior ran it in 2020. Is that the last winner? Is that what that is? Went off at 10 to 3 odds. He's carrying 135. How is Secretary only carrying 129? That's insane. Tell you what, I'm gonna put I am gonna put Ice Warrior. I am gonna put uh, five hundred thousand to show. Now I don't understand the betting. I understand. So win is first, place is second, show is third. But I bet this to show, thinking third was okay and not gotten paid. So I don't know. And and a lot of these I can't even click on. So I don't know what the deal is. All right. So we're gonna go there. 
and who are let's see Belita only foals and horses and Tilly's tail seventh and tenth yeah I'm gonna stay off of those guys I think I'm gonna put the rest on secretariat uh, we're gonna go max whim I think he should dominate this race I'm gonna keep a million in the bank or right at a million <sighs> just just make it rain man throw the bet out there ice warrior is a show hopefully we you know at 66 to 1 if we get any type of payoff on that it should be nice that's the number two horse back here in the back secretary is the number seven horse on the rail and this is a long ass race it's been running what eight eight point one furlongs eight point two this is 11 this is a long race gee whiz so yeah pace yourself man pace yourself all right we got tilly's tail coming up into third ice warrior next to last now bringing up the rear Secretary holding second off the leader Zambezi. And we're, oh, he just took the lead. And let's go ahead and slow it down. Starting to pull away. Zambezi is fading. Ice Warrior, are you going to make a move for us? We'd like you to finish top three. Oh, well, only foals and horses. That was one of those 66 to ones I thought about. And it's making a late run. Holy shit. If that horse wins at 66 to 1, Secretary, you better pick it up, man. Pick him up, put him down. Oh, my God, that was closer than I would have liked. Did anybody put money on only foals and horses at 66 to 1 to place? I don't know what that paid out at, but I bet it was a pretty nice little check. Here's a question for you. When they only show two horses on the on this screen, does that mean there's only two pay places? Because um, sometimes they show three, sometimes they show four, and I think it goes on the field size. That's what I think. All right, well, we bet five, basically $6 million, and we won $1.8 in return, and that'll give us $7.8 million roughly. In the bank from when it from the race today 8.67 total uh, we're gonna skip the rest of these races and not interested in that horse we're gonna save so we got our money and a secretariat has declared for the BC turf at Arcadia so let's see what date we're looking at there all right, Dejure is going to go in that race. Wow. Dejure has only raced twice this year. This is one that, you know, you could go, hmm. But Dejure always finishes second for me. Always. But that should be a two-horse race. What's the distance of that? A mile and four. So a mile and a half. Okay. That's November 5th. But we do have the auction before that. In fact, that's in a couple of days. So let's save. Let's get up to the auction. Because that's more important than the betting, right? Only a handful of horses. But we are going to go hard and heavy. You know, we should be able to sell those. Let's go ahead and try to buy them all. The hell with it buy them all be a greedy greed is good right greed is good that's what that's what uh the wolf of wall street told me i did live through the 80s greed was good back in the 80s all right five hundred and seventeen thousand. this one will go for 315 it looks like Hopefully we can get the next one around three hundred thousand. Well, three seventeen, so right in there, right in there. And that seems to be, for the most part, pretty consistent. 
pretty consistent. All right, 540, this will be a half million dollar horse. So hopefully on these, we can sell them for about two. That's what I'm hoping. I don't remember what they sell for. No recollection. And we haven't bought these expensive ones before. So, I mean, we made good money buying the ones in the, in the you know, the one, the one, the 100,000 range, but these half millions, these are, you know, these are pushing the price up and hopefully the returns are just as good. But now that you can actually afford it, you know, it's like, all right, cool. I do wonder if the AI should be ramped up to drop more money. Just, uh, you know, it seems <clears throat> I haven't had a problem outbidding anybody as long as I had the money to do it. Um, and I guess anybody could say that, you know. All right, so we get, uh, what's that, seven more yearlings. So that puts us up to 28 yearlings in our barn. And again, you can do all breeding mares. You can do yearlings. You can do a combination of the two. You can try to buy two-year-olds and then resell them if they haven't run a race yet. There's all kind of things you could do. All right. We want to get to November 5th at Arcadia. Let me save that just so we don't lose our purchases if there's a crash. November 5th at Arcadia. Secretary is running today. All right, now De Jure is another legend, so we need to be a little, a little careful here. We're going to make a killing. I don't, I don't know what we're going to come out with, but... We could easily come out with 30 to 50 million after this, you know, in, next year with the yearling sales or the two-year-old sales. Okay, don't see anything in that race. <clears throat> Are they maybe not running in the same race? That's possible. Says the secretary it's running. But this does not have secretary in it. It's just de jour. Everybody's picking him. You know what? Let's let's drop. Um, let's do that. And we'll watch this race. I want you guys to see a little racing. We're up against the clock, but this will be the final day, and then I'll move on to next year. All right. So de jour running back on this end. The number thirteen. Number thirteen horse. The black one here. There we go. All right, out to the lead. Short race, six furlongs. Looks like Classic Park is trying to be Jurassic Park. All right, coming up on the two furlong pole, and there it was over there on the rail. It's De Jure and Didymus. Classic Park in third. Can De Jure hold on? Didymus is closing in with just over a half mile and overtakes de jure and we have two more charging riverside theater and indexi monamu and he may have gotten nosed so we don't win we lose uh, that money thank you very much appreciate you and i i think he held on all right there we go seven to two but we don't win any money off of that we lost uh Two hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars, you bastard! Don't bet on De Jure. I always lose money on him, I'm like legend my ass. Storming Red, go Amwell. Um, what horse? What race is he running? The BC Terp. Okay, at least that way I can look for the right name, right? That's the BC Classic. The BC Mile. Ooh. Creepy creepy G. No, he's not he's not a big favorite, so we'll skip that. Alright, Secretary going off at eleven to ten, which is basically one to one odds. Highly Regal is going off at about seven to one. So pretty heavy favorite here. Tipsters, they're not leaning though, only two of them. All right, but we are going to go 
Let's go three and a half million right there. That way we'll have at least a million and a half to make it to the end of the year. This is a turf race too. I don't think Secretary runs here very much, but on the outside, uh, no, he's on the inside. Okay, same color horse on the outside here, that number six horse. That is, who is that? Bright Launch. Well, Bright Launch has a Bright Launch as he's out to the lead here, taking overtaking Secretary. Lights out, also running lights out, and we have Atticus putting a charge on. Another long race here. Another really long race. Much longer than I think Secretary normally runs. But that's fine. Currently holding fourth on the rail. So let's see, eight furlongs is a mile, right? So coming up on the half mile. Secretary's up into second. He's making a run, getting up into his stalking position. Looks like Atticus, or is that Wayne Manor, the black horse? I don't know. No, number seven is, at, that is Atticus. All right, we're inside the two. So one and a half furlongs left. Secretary is now trying to close. He's up a half length back at the furlong pole. They're neck and neck. And that should bode well. Usually you don't see him get overtaken. There was another pole there. I don't, that threw me off. I was like, wait, what? And Secretary wins. So we win some more cheddar. Thank you. Les bons temps rouler. Let the good times roll. I like when you make it rain on me, Secretary. Good deal. So we bet four million, one. Oh, we won one point three. Okay, well that's fine. So that puts us almost seven million in the bank going into next year. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and save. There are no more sales. I don't think there are not. There is a breeder sale. Do we maybe look at that? Do we maybe look at that and see if there's one big breeder in there that maybe we go after? Uh, there is a 75 rated. It's got a win in a grade three. Nah, I'm going to stay off of that. I'm going to stay off of that. Uh, so let's go back. And I tell you what, let's end it there. We'll come back uh, for January 1st, next episode. We will sell off all of our yearlings, or at least we'll go through the yearlings, uh, figure out which ones we'll keep and which ones we will auction off, see how much money we make, and then we will repeat that process ad nauseum for as long as we play. We'll keep buying and selling buying yearlings, selling two-year-olds, and then seeing if we find any that are race-worthy. And then as they run, then we will start looking at breeding them. We may start looking at the breeding mares and seeing if we can find some young ones with pretty high ratings. Uh, but that is going to be in the future. And you know what? I tell you what, we know we're going to sell some, right? So let's go ahead and buy... Let's increase our stable capacity. Let's just buy everything that we need here. We've got the money now. All right. And then I want, let's buy two of those. There you go. And you know what? Let's buy a six one just because we can, because we're badass. All right, so we still have 5.6 million to roll over to next year. Uh, we will do that next episode. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe as well. We'll see you. Thanks for dropping by. See you.